Hey guys, let's see how to update the BIOS on a Dell laptop. There are different ways to do it. You can do via Windows, Windows 10 or 11, or you can do via BIOS itself, right? I'm gonna show you both ways. So the first thing that I have to do is to make sure which laptop you have. Here, mine is a Dell Latitude 7490, but you can just come here and use some tools like the Dell Support Assist, okay? To find the service tag with this information, you, you know which computer you have, okay? So with the Dell Support Assist, it's a tool that you can download from their website. Here you hover over on this icon and you see the service tag information or you just click here and you have the service tag, okay? So you can copy and paste on a Dell website to make sure that you are downloading the correct file for your BIOS update, right? And you can also use this other tool here, that's the Dell Command Update. You can also download from Dell's website. And here, as soon as you open this software, you see the service tag just right here, okay? So you can also copy and paste, right? Let me just copy and paste from this one. There we go. I just hit Control C here. And I go to the Dell's website. So you just look here on Google, Dell Drivers and Downloads. And here in the first link, dri Drivers and Download, here you see it can identify your computer automatically here on the right side, right? If you're using the same computer, there are you about to update or you can just paste the service tag here. So control V here, hit search and it finds the model. You see here Dell Latitude 7420. It pops up some window here, you just need to close and you just go down and look for drivers. You see here, select drivers in here, I just insert BIOS. I'm looking for the BIOS driver, hit enter. And you're gonna see here, Dell Latitude BIOS, right? So I can just select this one and download. There we go. It goes here to my download folder. And then now you just need to execute this one, right? Just right click and you can run as administrator. That's the idea. Just hit yes. Just wait for some time. It brings up this window here and it's going to update some stuff, right? Just make sure that you have uh, the power connected here because during uh, the BIOS update, you can't have the power down, right? So just make sure that I have here connected to the power uh, supply. You see here that I have 100%, so I'm good to go. And I'm just going to hit here update and wait for the update to start. So basically it's going to load the firmware and then you need to restart because the BIOS update is done doing uh, during the restart process, okay? So let's just hit here restart, wait for it to come back and it's, it's going directly into the BIOS and it's going to update the BIOS uh, correctly, right? If some window pops up here, you just uh, hit uh, restart anyway, wait for it to restart. Sometimes you're gonna see a black screen. You're gonna see some information here on the screen. Just be patient, wait for it to finish the update. Even if you see something stuck on 99% or on 100%, just wait and just follow the information here. And see, that's updating the firmware right now. And there's also the information, do not power down your system. Usually it does different updates. You see here that it does something and then it goes to the next one. And yeah, the idea here is just be patient and follow here the instruction, right? Sometimes you're gonna see also that uh, it finds something that's already up to date and it goes to the next step and keeps updating everything. There we go. Usually the update is pretty fast. But again, if you see that it stuck here a little bit, just wait because you cannot turn off the computer during the BIOS update. You can damage your computer if you do that, right? So let's just wait for it to finish. 70%. Still going pretty fast. Mine here is not getting stuck. 
but I, I saw that before usually it gets stuck on 99% not stuck but it, say, it stays doing something there for a while on 99% but I never turn off my computer there we go 98 99 let's see now you see 99 it's a little bit here for some time so just wait and it got to 100 sometimes it stays at 100 percent for some time as well don't worry just wait still there we're doing something else see that it starts changing the message here and usually you're gonna see a green message here on the top when it's finished right and the computer can't restart by itself there we go it's still doing something else there we go you see firmware update successful but I still don't see any message here that I can finish this. Now I see the message here, okay? It pops up for a while. It's a green message. It says everything is good and it restarts by itself. There we go. So super good. You don't need to do anything. You just need to follow the instructions there and wait for it to finish. And I see that's spinning here because it's loading windows so it's okay now just make sure that you can log in there we go I'm logging in into windows and now I can show a different way if you can't load your windows for some reason or right you can't just use a thumb drive like this one load the file here and then you can use this uh, thumb drive to update your firmware okay so here I have already the file downloaded here. It's the same file, okay? So I, when I come here to the download page, you see here that I have the firmware. I have it twice, right? I just wanna use this one because I, I downloaded it before, so I have it twice here. I'm gonna copy this one to this thumb drive, okay? So I just put the thumb drive here on my laptop. And then let me just right click here and format the thumb drive just to make sure that's good. I have to use here FAT32, quick format here, start, just wait for it to finish, it takes a while, then I'm going to copy the file there and restart the computer, right? So here format is complete, just close this down, just drag and drop here so you can copy, there we go. Then I just need to check that that's here, just to make sure. Eject, right click, eject here. There we go. Uh, now I just need to restart. I didn't need to eject, but, but to be honest, right? But it's okay. So I just restart here. And now I'm going to get into the BIOS by myself, right? So it's just restarting. If you don't do anything here, it's going to restart the windows. So what I have to do is just press the F2 key here during the, the restarting process. So it's going to get into the BIOS, right? It's the F2 key for Dell, lap, Dell laptops, most of them. I think all of them, right? So just wait for a while. Now I keep just pressing here F2. You're gonna see a message here on the top, right? That's getting to the BIOS. There we go. It's a pretty quick message. And then you can let it go. Wait for a while, it's going to load. There we go, okay? So now here I have access to the BIOS. My Bluetooth mouse, it doesn't work anymore. I need to use the touchpad here. And here you see an option to update the BIOS, okay? Let me just see if it's here. Depending on the Dell's version that you have, you can find here or you can find in a different menu, right? Okay, I have here some options for BIOS. It looks like it's not here. If it's not here, 
what you can do is just exit and start pressing F12 instead, right? There's another way to get it in a different menu, is the boot menu. So it's depending on the Dell laptop that you have, the firmware version, you're going to change from um, the main BIOS to this boot menu. There we go. I have this menu here, and here I have the option for BIOS flash update. So I just come here. The, the mouse doesn't work here. You need to use the keys, right? So BIOS flash update, enter. Now it's going to load an interface that I can use the, the mouse. There we go. See, that's working here. In here, BIOS update file. I need to come here and select the uh, thumb drive, right? So I have here the FS3, the latest one here is the thumb drive, okay? Just make sure FS0, one, no, it's, uh, it's the opposite, right? The last time I came here, uh, this was for uh, FS3, but now it's the opposite. You see here that I have FS0 as the Dell Latitude volume for the firmware, okay? Because I know that that's the file, okay? It's the .exe file. Sorry for that. So I just hit OK here. And you see that fi it finds the file and now I can begin the flash update. I need to confirm that I want to proceed. Hit OK and it's going to reboot and do the process, uh, the process all over again. You see here that it's going to load um, the screen to update the firmware. Sometimes you just see a black screen, you just need to wait, be patient. You see it's updating your firmware again, right? And it's going to do all the same process that we saw before, okay? So nothing new here, it's just the firmware update all over again. So basically guys, that's the way you can update the firmware on a Dell laptop, you just need to find uh, the information, the service attack information to make sure that you have the correct Dell's laptop. You can do this using the tool uh, on Dell, download it from the Dell's website, or you can even come here as well to the uh, BIOS using the F2 key and see the service attack there as well. Then you download the firmware, you update via Windows, Windows 10 or 11, or if you don't have access to Windows yet, you can update here using the thumb driver, thumb drive, that's just like I'm doing here, okay? You can use another computer to just download the driver and put it here on a thumb drive. I hope that helps. Uh, please leave your comments here if it works for you, if it doesn't work for you, if you have some questions. And also subscribe to this channel and leave your thumbs up. I see you in the next video.